God is saying that pray until your situation changes. Miracles happen every day, so never stop believing. God can change things very quickly in your life. God is not surprised at where you are. Plan to make all things work for good. You may be confused or discouraged, but remember that God has called you. Scripture of the day. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29, 12, 13. God says you may be tired, discouraged and frustrated, but do not give up. God is about to open some doors for you. Your situation is about to change. 1 John 5, 14. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Amen. God says, I heard your cries. I heard your tears. You are wise, not foolish. You are fearless, not afraid. You are loved and cared for, not abandoned. Even if you believe it. I will bless you today with peace, healing and victory. Don't quit. I am going to bring something beautiful out of this ugly situation. For these, I say thank you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Can somebody gladly type him in? I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Psalm 32-8 to Heaven and Earth John 12:48. He who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him. All is coming to life for you. You are a master over your reality. Own your truth and be more confident. The universe responds to how you feel about yourself. Feel good, be great, and attract the best. Type yes if you needed this. Let go of all past mistakes. Let go of all negative thoughts. The future is waiting for us. Psalm 121 to 12. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Let your will in heaven be done for my life here on earth this week. Make ways out of no way. Open new doors of opportunities for me. Favor me this week. Bless whatever I put my hands to work this week. Whatever problems I'm facing today, I pray you grant me the patience I need to withstand this storm. He had no army, yet kings feared him. He won no military battles. Yet he conquered the world. He committed no crime, yet they crucified him. He was buried in the tomb, yet he lives today. Amen if you agree. God will never fail you. Proverbs 3 to 5 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. You enable me to deal with each situation with faith. May you shield me from agonizing over things I can't control and concentrate on opportunities to serve and glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Romans 5-3-5 Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Comment Amen if you believe. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. If you believe that there is power in prayer, then don't scroll and say this short prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I want to lift up whoever is watching this video right now in the name of Jesus. Type yes if you believe in God. 